I'd like to discuss with you an impressive four-step scan procedure developed by airline pilot Ralph Butcher and described in his book, The Instrument Flying Manual and Simulator Training Guide. Let's take a walk to the classroom. These are the individual steps of the four-step scan procedure, and they're used every time a major attitude change occurs in the aircraft. Step number one, select attitude, power, and trim desired. Step number two, music scan the inverted V instruments. Step number three, music scan the primary instruments and offer the final trim. And step number four, circular scan the big six. Now you're probably wondering when you would use these four steps, how long does it take, and what exactly is the music scan and the circular scan that make up the four-step procedure? Well, the first three steps take approximately 15 seconds, and the last step is accomplished when the airplane is established in the desired attitude and trimmed. Now, the music scan and the circular scan can best be described by the simulator. I've programmed this high-performance twin-engine simulator to be in level flight at 4,000 feet at 160 knots in the clean configuration. Now, what I'd like you to do is to enter a constant airspeed climb at 120 knots on a heading of 360 degrees. This, of course, requires a major attitude change. So let's give it a try. Go ahead, grab the controls and I'll talk you through it. And by the way, you're not gonna be needing this since this, of course, is a simulator. Okay, now for step number one. Select the attitude, power, and trim conditions desired. Let's raise the nose of the airplane to an attitude that experience has shown will give us 120 knots. Do this by focusing all of your attention on the attitude indicator during the attitude change. Simultaneously, add climb power and reach over and give it a little nose up trim. Let's freeze the simulator here for just a moment. Now you've probably been told never to stare at any instrument and that's good advice except when it comes to the attitude indicator. You see, the attitude indicator is a complete instrument and it gives both pitch and bank information. And as long as it's not reading inaccurately, then it's legitimate to stare at it for five to seven seconds as is required by step one. Here are a few tips that the pros use that are basically one of two ways to determine whether the attitude indicator is providing you accurate information or not. In step one, when the attitude is changed, Make sure that the attitude indicator's airplane moves in the same direction as control application and pay attention to a sluggish response suggesting a poorly spinning gyro which should arouse suspicion. Now we're ready for step two. Let's music scan the inverted V instruments. The purpose of step two is to further confirm the accuracy of the attitude indicator and then to check the trend of the airplane. With the attitude indicator at the apex and the turn coordinator and the VSI at the endpoints, the instruments appear to make up what is an inverted V. Now, why are the inverted V instruments even important here? Well, all three instruments operate on separate and independent power systems. And this means that we can further then confirm the accuracy of the attitude indicator every time a major attitude change is made. 